Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about my summer tarot and oracle deck picks. Some of these I chose because of the color palette feeling super summery or the vibe feeling very summery or the energy of the deck or some of them I can't really explain why I felt pulled to work with them this summer but they just feel right so some of them may not look like a more expected summer deck but they're on this list if you want to see what my summer picks are keep watching and let's get into it okay so kicking things off with tarot decks i'm starting with in my opinion a very obvious pick the golden art nouveau tarot this deck is beautiful first of all even the backing feels very summery to me it's very art nouveau obviously but i actually have a full review of this deck on my channel if you're interested in seeing it i do a full flip through and give you my thoughts on the deck i really love this deck it's got this beautiful gold foiling which makes it perfect for summer. If I were to pick a season to assign to this deck, it would 100% be summer. The gold in it, and just even the color palette in general, feels very warm, very bright, very summery to me, so I definitely think this is a must-have if you are wanting a golden deck for summer. I love this deck, it's very beautiful, and I definitely recommend it. Next up we have my Crystal Power Tarot. I also have a review of this deck on here. Um, if you would like to see that, I will link that below as well. This deck feels very summery in a different way. It's like watercolory, it has very bright, vibrant, fun, sunny colors. This feels like going to the beach to me. In fact, this is a deck I like to take to the beach with me when I want to take a tarot deck and do a reading while I'm at the beach. This is one of my go-tos. It's just so fun, so colorful, very light feeling, very sunny feeling, like I said. Um, and I just really, look how pretty that is. I just really enjoy this deck. Uh, and I like too that it has these little, they call them power messages for this deck for each card. And you get a crystal for each card, which is cool too. But I just, again, you could say that this would be a nice spring deck, sure, but I associate it with summer and maybe that's because I like to take this deck to the beach with me, so it makes me think of summertime, but this is, in my opinion, whoops, in my opinion, very summery. So that is the Crystal Power Tarot. Next up on this list is my Druid Craft Tarot. This deck to me could go for fall as well. Uh, some may even argue spring, but I think it's a summer-fall deck. Look at the sun card. Very summery feeling to me, this beach scenery. There's a couple cards I thought of when I was looking through my decks and trying to pick ones that made sense for summer for me. I think it's also just a very earthy deck and I think that's why it feels like a summer fall. This may be a nice late summer, early fall deck. It may end up in my fall deck video too if I end up doing one, but I mean this feels very fall, but it also feels late summer to me. Um, I don't know, there's something about the color palette, something about the artwork that just feels summery to me. I don't know. Um, this is really just a matter of preference and opinion, really, when we're talking about decks that feel seasonally right for us. This one, when I look at it, it feels like summertime. And honestly, this is a great year-round deck. But yeah, Druid Craft Tarot is another pick for me for summertime. And last tarot deck I have is the Green Witch Tarot. This is another one that you know, it's probably great for all of the seasons, but when I was picking out what I want to use for summer, this summer in particular, that's why I think I gravitated towards Druid Craft, which I said has some fall feeling to it, maybe more of a late summer vibe. Um, the Green Witch Tarot is another one that I'm just feeling pulled to working with this deck this summer. It's maybe not necessarily a blatantly summer deck, if that makes any sense at all. Um, this deck really does honestly feel like all the seasons, like I felt very uh, called or pulled to work with it during the winter as well, which is the stark opposite of summer, but um, I don't know, it just, like the Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups, she's very summery, I don't know, there's a lot of bright flowers and, and fruits, and there's a lot of abundant energy and things like that in this deck that uh, just make me think of working with this during the summer, I don't know. Uh, again, I think this deck I'm just feeling pulled to working with. It's not like a blatantly summer deck to me, but it's one I'm just wanting to work with this season. So that's why it's on my list. Like that's definitely a wintry card, but you know what I mean. Sometimes we can't explain why we feel 
a pool or a call to work with certain decks at uh, certain times of the year, but right now this is one that I'm really thinking about working with a lot. But yeah, really nice colors and lots of earthy, naturey elements, which I really love. And I think maybe part of the reason why I feel called to work with this in the summer is because I like to spend a lot of time outdoors in the summer, so maybe that's some part of it. Who knows? Okay, so now let's talk oracle decks. Starting things off with the Keepers of the Light Oracle. This deck I chose because honestly the color palette feels like summer to me. And I think this is kind of a nice oracle to use in the summertime, honestly year round again, but this is just one of the ones that I'm feeling a pull to working with this season. And I feel like all of the really rich, vibrant colors is part of it. I am very affected by colors, if that makes any sense. So brighter colors I gravitate towards in the summer for sure. Maybe that's why I'm feeling like this is a oracle deck I want to work with this summer. But I just love the light energy of this deck. Obviously, it's the keepers of the light, and maybe that's part of it too. It reminds me of solar energy, the sun, that bright, pure, energetic light. I don't know. This deck reminds me of that energy, so that's probably part of it as well. So yeah, that's the Keepers of the Light. So this next one is actually brand new to my collection. I have not read with it a single time yet, but it feels super summery and like something I'm definitely going to work with in the summer. My best friend gave this to me, and it's really, like even the box just feels summery to me. Really summery feeling uh, card backs as well. I just think... This is going to be really beautiful to work with in the summertime. Look at that. There's also a, a series of mermaids in this deck, so that could be part of it as well. Did I even mention the name of this deck? I don't think I did. <laughs> it's called Find Your Light, I believe. I will make sure, though. Yeah, so I believe it's fairies, mermaids, and angels are like the three different suits in this deck, if I'm not mistaken. They're still in order because I have not used it yet. Yes, find your light inspiration deck. So this is another one that just I feel, especially because it has that mermaid energy, it's going to be really nice for summer. And especially with the oracles you're using in the summertime, it's nice to have a nice light option like this, kind of fun, uplifting, sunny, happy type of energy. And this is a great one, I think, for those types of readings. If you just want to do a single card pool, something like this will be really nice for summertime, I think. Honestly, if you're ever just feeling down in general, something like this could be nice to have. I have not used it yet though, so um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it reads, but I'm excited to try it out. Next one I have here. So this deck, I was back and forth about putting it on the list because I do feel like this is very much like a darker months deck. Like, some of the, like the themes of the cards and stuff feel more like fall and winter energies. But when I saw it, I was like this, I don't know, there's something about the warmth of this deck and the color palette that has like a lot of oranges and teals and lots of bright golden colors. And so I kept going back and forth and I thought, you know what, this is for when you're wanting to do some deeper work I feel like sometimes people associate the summer months with just only like light decks like the one I just showed you, but it's good to have an option for deeper work that uh, feels of the time or of the season. And this deck, the Isis Oracle, has that for me. So you see a lot of cards with things like the Brother in Darkness, so you're thinking like, oh, Shadow Season, but then Abundance of Sophis, okay, also feels kind of autumnal. Uh, when you look at it, it feels like harvesty, but I don't know. I just, divine sun child, there you go, <laughs> solar energy. So I, I'm not sure why I kept going back and forth on it. Now that I'm looking at it, I do feel like it does make sense for kind of a deeper dive option for summer readings. So I think that's why I was feeling pulled to this one for summertime. But yeah, this is the Isis Oracle. Okay, and last but not least, this is the Sacred Mysteries Chakra Oracle. So I actually got this deck in the summertime. It was a birthday gift years ago now, but it didn't come with this little bag. I put these in here. So I think because I got this deck in the summer and I worked with it a lot right after I got it, maybe that's why it feels like summer to me personally. 
but also just the, the bright colors. Look at these card backings, they're so beautiful. And it has golden gilding, so that's really nice too. Um, but if you just look at the colors in this deck, it feels very vibrant, super uplifting, really beautiful. And this is another one that honestly would be nice to take to the beach for readings, just the colors in it. And I love this artwork, it's so beautiful. And this is a really interesting deck. It's one you definitely wanna have the guidebook with you um, because there's a lot of really helpful information in that guidebook to get you to understand the cards. It's not like a cut and dry chakra oracle where it's just like heart chakra root chakra, there's there's more to it. You have several cards for each of the chakras and um, having that guidebook to explain the meaning behind it. And if there's like a deity depicted, it goes into an explanation of the deity and why they're there or something about them that relates to that chakra or to something with the element of that chakra, something. So it's really a, a very interesting deck. It's not one that you can just kind of pick up and read without the book, I would say. I mean, you could and just go with your uh, intuition and just use the keyword and the artwork, but I think you get a lot more out of it if you use the guidebook. But yeah, I just think all these bright colored mandalas and everything feels very summery to me. So that is the Sacred Mysteries Chakra Oracle. Okay guys, so those are my tarot and oracle deck picks for summer. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what your guys is summer deck picks are in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care and until next time, bye.